Hello friends, in today's operating system, we will see an important topic from 5th unit that is access matrix. And in today's class, we will see the definition of access matrix, confinement problem, access matrix with the domain as objects and methods of implementing the access matrix. What is access matrix? The model of protection can be viewed as access matrix. Okay, uh, this is in the form of matrix here. All the rows of matrix are called as domains, see, and all the columns are consist as objects and its access rights. Okay, all the columns will represent the objects and the corresponding access rights. And here, when an entry access of i comma j defines a set of operations that the process executing in the domain di can invoke the object uh, object j okay that is the process executing in domain di can access only those objects specified in row i okay for example suppose i am going to access this domain 1 then the domain 1 can access the file 1 and file 3 and that to the read operation so it can perform only the read operations on file 1 and file 3 okay access mass matrix can implement the policy decisions concerning the protection that is we need to protect all the resources uh, which user can access which particular resource okay that will be decided by access matrix and the policy decisions involved the rights should be included in i comma jth entry in the access matrix right and this policy will be decided by operating system then what will uh, the user will do the user will decide content of access matrix entries once the user create a new object immediately a column will be included in the access matrix okay to decide which particular access will be given for this particular object and uh, dictated by the creator which are dictated by the creator so that is in the axis matrix if you create a new object immediately the one column will be added in the axis matrix and the user can decide to enter some rights for this particular object it can be read for one domain uh, write for another domain execute for another domain likewise and next let us see the access matrix with the domains as objects okay previously we are having only objects but now we have to include domains as objects in the access matrix here the access matrix provides an appropriate mechanism for defining and implementing strict control for both static and dynamic association between the process and domains this is important here and here the process should be able to switch from one domain to another domain that should be defined in the access matrix itself that means the switching from domain i to domain j that is a process wanted to switch from domain i to domain j it is allowed if and only if the access right belongs to access of i comma j that means when come to this particular example here domain d which having the access that is switch okay that means the objects uh, which are available in domain d1 can be switched to domain d2 also okay and domain d2 may also switch that is the process entered into domain 2 can also switch to domain 3 and domain 4 and now let us see the confinement problem here the copyright and owner right which provides a mechanism to limit the propagation of access rights and they do not give the appropriate tools for preventing the propagation of information hence the problem of guaranteeing that no information initially held in an object that can migrate outside of its execution environment that is it can migrate from one domain to another domain and this problem is called as confinement problem and the confinement problem is unsolvable problem 
the methods of implementing access matrix the first one is global table access list for objects capability list for domains and lock key mechanism these four are most popular methods of implementing the access matrix up to this we have seen the basics of access matrix that is the definition of access matrix confinement problem access matrix with the domain as objects and methods of implementing the access matrix that will come under fifth unit and the implementation of access matrix we will see in the next class thank you